So, hello and welcome to another Oxygen Next screencast. In this tutorial I will explain the basics of content management. So first you have to log into the Oxygen Management Suite and then go to the footage section. Now you have to click on your player, normally called Station if you haven't renamed it yet. On the left side you will see the categories where all your content comes in and you will see that content then on the right side. Now that I created a category and called it empty I will have to fill it with some pictures. That's what I'm going to do now. You can see that I switched over to the right side and clicked the add button. You have to make sure that pop-ups aren't blocked by your browser and then you can browse your system like you're used to. In this case I'm going to upload four pictures and here we go. and now confirm your choice by pushing the button. Okay, here are the pictures. If you click on a thumbnail you will get a pop-up with a little preview of the picture. With clicking the Behavior tab, you will get a first impression of what content management is all about. Every change you make here will apply to the activated category and all its contents. You can, for example, decide that this category can only be played on Monday. You can also choose on which channel it, it will be displayed. And now in the playout options I set the category length to 4 because I have 4 items in this category and these 4 items should be played in ascending order and I only want this category to be played from the 19th to the 22nd of August Finally I have to confirm my changes and that's it Let's have a look at it again See the behavior everything saved. Now that the category has some contents I'll have to rename it. I will call it filled. Okay. Now that I showed you how to change the behavior of the category it's time to see how you can change the behavior of the contents in it. For example I can easily deactivate single items or turn off the audio and channel ID. If I mark a content and then click the edit button, which is here, I have the most likely the exact same tab than uh, that I have when I activate the behavior of a category with the exception of the playout options where I can now for example change the duration of the of the pictures so if this picture will be played it will last for 30 seconds now I want all four pictures to have a duration of 30 seconds so I have can select the whole category click the edit button and then change the duration like I did before. Here you can see now they are all turned to 30 seconds. Now I changed the name of the pictures by simply clicking on it. Picture 1 and picture 2. On the right side you have the info button. 
If you push this button, you get a pop-up that gives you information about the distribution of the content item. For example, you can see here that this item is not yet distributed, but it's uh, in progress since five minutes. So within the next ten minutes, it will be on the system. I will now show you our search function. Simply type the letters into the search box and you will see the results instantly. Now I'm going to add another category. We have the pictures and now I will add a category with a movie in it. I call it movie. Again this is the upload pop-up. I now have to find a movie. Okay. Let's take a cinematic trailer. Well, if you have a slow internet connection and you want to upload high def video material, you should be aware that it will take time. And I really mean a lot of time. So don't interrupt the uploading process as it might really take its time. I only want this category movie to be played from 9 to 11, so I have to change the behavior. Okay, confirm the changes. And now I will do some copy and paste. First mark the content, click on copy, then I change the category and I paste it into my picture category. So there it is. I mark it again and then delete it. And I can also just cut and paste it, mark it, cut, click on the other category and paste it in. Now I want it back in my category movies, and there it is. So it's normal copy and paste, cut and paste, like you're used to from using Windows. Now I copy my category into our clipboard, we call it offline. There it is. As you can see the behavior did not change, so the whole category was copied into the clipboard. And I can also take categories from the offline part and copy it onto my player. So now I have four categories on my player and two of them I just copied from the offline area onto the player. In this pop-up I can control the playout sequence of the category. I choose descending so the player will start with the category videos, then switch to movie, then filled and so on. Now I would like to thank you for your attention. This was a screencast about the basics of content management. Visit us on forum.oxygennext.com if you have any questions left. And stay tuned for more screencasts to come. Bye.